Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an audience and import contacts on MailChimp. A critical first step in getting started with MailChimp is setting up your audience. It doesn't matter if you're starting from scratch or bringing existing contacts into MailChimp. Your audience is where you'll be storing and managing all your contact data. Please be advised that the number of audiences you can store in your account depends on your plan. It is also recommended that you maintain only one master audience in MailChimp and use tags and segments to organize and target your contacts. Lastly, you need to make sure you're familiar with the anti-spam practices and audience requirements before you begin this process. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. What you need to do first is to log into your MailChimp account. Go to www.mailchimp.com. Once you're in, click the Audience tab on top. On the Audience page, click the Create Audience button. Name your audience. Your subscribers can see this to make sure that it's something appropriate. The default email address is where your customer can reply to, and the default name is the name of your company. You also need to make sure that you remind them how they sign up to your audience. On the form settings, if you enable double opt-in, your customer will verify their email address first before they can be added on your audience. You also have an option to include the GDPR fields. GDPR form fields include checkboxes that your contacts will use to opt in to your marketing and space for you to add the necessary information. For notifications, this is when MailChimp notifies you about the subscribe or unsubscribe activity of your contacts. Just choose your preferences. Once you're done, click the Save button. You should see a notification indicating that you have created a brand new audience. You can go back to the audience dashboard and you should see the report of your newly created audience. To import your first contacts, click the Import Your Contact button. Then, choose the type of import that you'll be doing and click Next. On this example, we'll be uploading a CSV file. Click the Browse button and select the CSV file that you'll be uploading. On the next page, this is where you'll be matching the columns of your CSV file. If you click Skip All, it'll skip the unmatched columns and it will not be imported, so make sure that you added them first. Click on the drop-down, and if the label is not on the list, select the Create New Field and type in the new field name. Do it on all of the unmatched columns. Once you're done, click the Continue to Organize button at the bottom right to proceed. Add the tag of this audience and choose the status of the contact. Then, click the Continue to Review to proceed. Review the summary and click the Import button if everything is final. You should now see the contacts on your list of your audiences. So that's it. That is how you create an audience and import contacts on MailChimp. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.digital and browse through our huge compilations of webinars tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!
Hey, do you like this e-com content? Sign up for the Seller's Post newsletter for more e-commerce content straight to your inbox. Or follow us on socials with the links below. Thanks for watching!